Good day, brothers and sisters. I just had something happen, never happened before. My, I was doing a video. My phone just cut out. Get the bombing seat. I'll start over. Praise the Lord today. That was weird. Anyway. Just had some questions from people that I want to lay out and express and explain. Um, in Revelation 14, there's two harvests. It starts in verse 14. You see someone sitting like the Son of Man with a sharp sickle. And an angel came out of heaven and said, Thrust in thy sickle into the earth and reap, for the reap, for the harvest is ready. So that is the rapture. Okay? Then another angel comes out with a sharp sickle and another angel tells him to go reap in and reap the earth before because your harvest is ready and that's the blood and the wine wine press just read it it's about four verses very simple that is the harvest of the tares okay that is fauci okay fauci means sickle okay look google it what does fauci mean it means sickle Anyway, um, that's what's going on with this virus, vaccine, everything else. I guess that's why my phone cut out. Anyway, I hope you have knowledge of this because a lot of people don't. So we have a rapture. Now, who gets raptured? Who gets raptured are those that are counted worthy to be raptured. The, the wise virgins with the oil. I hope you have it. Because there's so much false doctrine out there about that you just got to believe. That's all you got to believe. Every Hollywood star, every TV show, you just got to believe. Katy Perry, just got to believe. Come on. Obama, just believe. They laugh at people because they know that that's not true. But so many people say, yep, that's I just got to believe. Okay, so let's read Mark 16 and 16. This is Jesus Christ speaking to you. He that believeth on me and is baptized shall be saved. Okay. So which is it? You must be baptized. Acts 2.38 is salvation doctrine. If you go to a Greek lexicon, those words saved in Romans 10 and 9, which is the favorite Baptist theology, false doctrine, of salvation, ABCs, all that garbage was, um, you just gotta believe, there's nothing else, there's no works. Um, we're saved by grace through faith in Him alone. Of course we are. It doesn't mean you don't have to obey Him. Baptism is not a work, it's obedience. But I have to confess, I was, when I poured out and God poured His love into me and I got the blood, that's getting the blood, this, the confession. It's fantastic. Believing gives you the blood. Amen. Somebody said, you got to get baptized. I took offense to it. Then I started reading. I hope you're wise enough. And I'm glad he led me to read. But you got to be baptized. How are you get baptized? In the name of Jesus Christ. No one was baptized any other way. Let's look at the next deception. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ was teaching. He said, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Matthew 28. Go ye forth all the nations. Right? Well, he was teaching. He said, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Not the names and not the titles. Okay? The name is Jesus. Everyone was baptized through Acts, which he gave apostles instructions by the Holy Ghost. Acts 1 and 2. They baptized, everyone was baptized. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Main Street. In the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. So, the next thing I'd like you think about, please do, before it's too late. Turn right onto Main Street, then turn left onto Durham Avenue. Is who killed Jesus Christ? Actually, who had him killed? The religious people. And they do it today. Religion is another way. 
It's not the way. Okay? Revelation 17 is the Catholic Church. The whore that sits on seven hills. What city sits on seven hills? Google it. It's Rome. It's very easy to see. 1.7 billion Catholics. Very unfortunate. Think that the Pope is praying for them. and <laughs> That's a false prophet. That's the false prophet, actually. So... What about the daughters of the whore? That's all the other religions. See, the Baptist Church says, or the theology of the Baptist Church says that the Holy Ghost lives in every believer, indwells the heart of every believer. It's not true. Turn left onto Durham Avenue. In um, Acts chapter 19, Paul asked certain disciples. Now, they were disciples. I'm not knocking my Baptist brothers and sisters who are disciples following the Continue Lord. Continue on Durham Avenue for one mile. I'm going to stop so it stops. This is more important. So, he said, have you believed, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? He said, we haven't even heard the Holy Ghost. And he baptized them properly. And read it. It's 10 verses. 1 through 10. Okay. So, Receiving, you don't receive the Holy Ghost by believing. Just believing. The Bible says even the devils believe. This just believing things, you just got to believe, is a false doctrine. The reason I'm telling you this is because those that are leaving first out of this earth to the Lord's table in the rapture, are the ones that don't have to go through great tribulation. And that's where you want to be. You want to be a wise virgin. You want to repent of all your sins. Stay in repentance every day. Ask God to baptize you in the Holy Ghost. He will. It's a free gift. Read Acts 2.38. Okay? It's in Acts 10, Acts 19, Acts 27. Baptism, the proper baptism is the eunuch with Philip in Acts 8, 36. Philip was teaching the eunuch. Eunuchs believed in Jesus. He said, there's water. What prevents me from being baptized? He said, if you believe with all thine heart, you may. And he said, I believe with all my heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Have you ever heard any baptism? No. Because they're baptizing it into their church body. You know, pastors, Pastor Wolves don't want freedom. They don't want you to be free. Don't you get it? They want you to pay their salary for the next 20 years. Not all of them. Most. Few find the narrow road. Few doctors. Few pastors. Few construction workers. No lawyers, though. <laughs> Kidding. Few lawyers. See, if you have the blood, 1 John 5 and 8, read it. The blood, the water, the spirit, these three. That's for us. Okay. Filled with the Holy Ghost. We get out of here on the rapture. Unless he has work for us. I'm afraid he's got work for me during that time. And I'm, I hope not. <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> Goodbye. But I'll do his will, not my will. Anyway, my health isn't so good anyway. Four years ago, they gave me two months to live. I'm still here. Praise God. All glory to God on that one for sure. So why am I telling you this? Am I telling you this to, to puff up myself, to build a church? To do? I don't have one. It's God's church. Pastors say, if I preached like you, Brian, I wouldn't have a congregation. It's not your con I rebuke them. It's not your congregation. 
It's unbelievable. But I get it. They need their salary paid. Now, if you have a proper assembly, there's a few. Good. But if you know deep down inside something's wrong, just get out. Revelation 18.5, come out from them, my people, or suffer their plagues and iniquities. You don't want to suffer. Let's look at another false doctrine real quick, because we need to, is the Trinity. There's no Trinity. God's not a person. When they Look at the doctrine of your church statement of faith. It says, Jesus Christ is the second person of three persons, the Holy Trinity. Run. You're at the table of devils. God is not a person. It says in the Bible, God is not a person. God is a spirit. He became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus Christ. There's only one God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we esteemed Him not. There's no Trinity. But if you believe in the Trinity, there is a Trinity in the Bible. And it's the devil, the false prophet, and the Antichrist. Those are three difference. Counterfeit. In fact, most religions have three. But whatever. You can search that out for yourself. Hero Israel, the Lord thy God is one God. Okay, hope you understand that. Anyway, so what's happening now? One thing most people don't understand, and it's sad, there's people of the devil. The Bible said, who, the apostles asked Jesus, you, were, you planted a beautiful world, or God planted a beautiful world, the wheat. Who planted the tares? He said, the devil planted them. So there's two types of people, three types of people on the earth. There's the children of darkness, children of the light and in the children of light you're further divided into wise ones and unwise ones okay so when the rapture comes the wise ones of the children of light leave go to the marriage supper and you wait it out while this world goes through great tribulation if you're an unwise one of the children of light you've got to go through tribulation why because most people don't wake up until they have to that's what's going to happen. And I hope you wake up quickly. But you got to suffer. And I'm trying to teach you something that you don't have to suffer. Okay? Children of darkness, they're not getting in. The whosoever is for God's group. Okay? You know, you know the difference. When you meet somebody that's just mean to the core. Pure evil. And then you meet other people that are just acting wrong. But deep down, you can tell there's some love there. That's that's the children of light who haven't been born again yet. Okay? You must be born again. Born of what? Born of the Spirit. Okay? Receiving the Holy Ghost is when you'll be baptized and born of the Spirit. Amen? And you'll speak in an unknown tongue. And those that say they don't or haven't, they can they can look at the fruits of the Spirit and guide that way. Love, joy, peace. I have a friend, he has a spoken tongue. But by his fruit, undoubtable, un, undeniable. Amen. Okay, so So we go up. In the rapture, we go to the marriage supper and we wait it out. And then we come back. The second coming is not the rapture. It's not the same thing. The second coming is Jesus comes back with ten thousands and thousands of his saints. After the earth has been cleansed and puts a foot on the sea and on the earth. In Jerusalem. And we all come back to live with him on the earth for the thousand year reign. The millennium reign. Millennium reign. Which is the day seven. Okay. A day is a thousand years. A thousand years to a day to the Lord. So we're about the end of day six. In Second Timothy chapter three, it talks about in the last days perilous times will come. 
read that of what people will be and then look at the world, watch the news and make up your own mind that we're not in the last days because we certainly are. I'm excited about it actually. We get to see the second coming of the Lord. We get to see the rapture. I hope you get in there. Peace to you all. Hope you have good understanding today. I hope you get in the word. Oh, one thing I didn't cover. Versions of the Bible. Get your Bible out. Go to Ecclesi Ecclesiastes 10.19. Compare it with the King James. And tell me your Bible's not false. It says money answereth is the answer for everything. Come on, we know that. It's false Bible. The NIV, bad. NLT, bad. These Bibles are so deceptive. They falsify all God's word. If you're naive enough to believe that the devil wouldn't counterfeit God's word, he's ridiculous. Of course he would. Read the King James Bible. It's the right route. And get a lexicon. Get an interlinear Bible. You can go word for word and see what they actually mean. Okay? Take some time. But you'll gain understanding of that. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Let me say a prayer for you. Jehovah, in the name of Yeshua, Mashiach. I bind, cast off, and rebuke every demon, principality, power, ruler, darkness, this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places off of all these people that are watching and off all of the world today. What we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Loose from heaven, Lord. Your love, join your spirit upon all your children. Maranatha. Peace.